Hey guys, AR back, and in this video, we're going to look at a um, type of programming, and it is called type. <laughs> now, it's a, a cool little function that can tell what's like type um, of a variable or of anything. I'll just do the list of types. You'll understand what I mean after I've typed it up. So first one we've got string. So when we first one we got string. Second one we've got a boolean. Third one we've got user data. Uh, actually, I should call it object. Sorry about that. Object. I mean this like workspace and every and all the like services and parts and all of scripts and well not yes yeah, scripts and all like the things in this explorer page. Uh, next we've got a uh, value, which is basically numbers. We've got and and we've got functions. And that should be it, I think. So we've got object, we got value, we got string. Yep, that is it. So now we're gonna. So you might have come across it before, and it's we're looking at type and type of. So these two functions. So we'll we'll, we'll be covering type of later in this video, but we're gonna firstly be looking at type, and type has all of these in them so it's got the string it's got this boolean it's got this object it's got value and function um i'll quickly show you what i mean so if i just said if type and then it has brackets parentheses and i'll now we're gonna go and so i'll just show you what i mean so i'm gonna create a variable called local uh string actually we're gonna go top to bottom string I'll just call it local text then. And I'll go and say hello. So if type text text equals equals hello. Oh no, oops. If type text equals string, sorry. Then we could say print text. No, we'll say um yeah we'll say actually we'll say text to make it quicker dot dot and we'll say is a dot dot and we'll say type text i think this should uh hello is hello um, that's it did say hello is a string but it's not actually a string actually but we didn't put a space there so if we go and put a space there and go to do now it will say hello is a string we got and i'll go and explain through it we've got oh, this is the text the text is hello and is a is the um, string part of it and type text and type text is a string so next one we got is going to be a We'll keep the text the same variable name, but it will just be different. So now it's going to be 50. So we're going to say if text, we're going to keep it string and then we're going to say an else. Else print um, text dot dot. is a and dot dot type text and you can put a space in it so you can see the blue bit of it and we'll just say we'll say dot dot false just to like keep it so you can see is there's actually a different go and put space there so we can um, space there and space there so hopefully it should say 50 is a number and false so 50 is not a string 
in this case it can be a string if we put it in string but it what i mean by that is if we went like that it will become a string but right now it's a number and we could say after this before we will say two number text and i'm going to be i'm going to be oh two strings sorry i'm going to be um looking at this function more depth um hopefully in the next video so i think uh i don't think it really no i don't think it done that two string text mm, doesn't really matter anyway we'll go and cover that in the next video i you don't really use that with um variables names or variable data unless it's like a use data so next we're gonna do is boolean so we go and write uh no we're gonna just say number so all of these i'll show you how they're supposed to be spelled when you're saying after this equals equals and in this a uh, string so with a string it needs to be spelled like that string with boolean it needs to be spelled like boolean like that oh with an object it needs to be spelled user data with a value it needs to be spelled um oh yeah number and with function it needs to be spelled function i really feel like we're missing one <laughs> oh, user data no i don't think we are and so now we'll go and see if it is a number we can see and it's saying 50 is a number i just want to play it so i can show you guys and next we can go and do so i think you've got the hang of it actually you've got the hang of it you know if you want to say a function this is how you spell it this is how you spell it for the function you write function like that for the a boolean you write boolean like that user data and number you all write them like that in this parentheses so now we're going to look at is something called type of basically type but you can but it's a it's a bit different the user data is a bit different as well so if we go and run this code so we'll go and run um print type of and we'll say text we can't actually uh we can't you can't actually say um if type of this is for a different this this type of is a different function so if you go and write that it should go and say number like it done last time but some not all are changed if we go and say if we go and say workspace it's not going to be user data oh we just could have kept that text it's going to be instance an instance is basically again all of these because it's been instanced <laughs> so oh, hard word to say but it's been instance i guess so um we'll go and look at uh text equals true I keep on changing this for some reason and we'll quickly go look at that this is still a boolean and we'll go and look at um a fun oh why I keep on changing this uh a uh, text and we'll go and call this i don't know um uh we'll just go and write a function quickly function a i'm probably doing something wrong now i could do something very easier but i don't really use these functions i don't really go like that so function a oh what's going on oh that's that's the problem uh hey and um, that should be that is nil um Said function. It 
it's going yeah, that probably is going to be nil again is it oh it's function oh yeah it's function so functions the same and uh i think the only one that's really changed was the um uh the object so i'll just go and put a different one so with type of it would be instance so uh thanks guys for watching um i'm going to create a i'm soon going to create a vid about string functions we were looking at table functions now we're going to look at string functions so stay tuned for that video peace out